Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would um, quickly start with an, a more in-depth garden tutorial and I'm going to be using the developer console for this which you can use to practice stuff. So I mean here's one of my save files. Um, I'm using a different browser. But what you do is you add says open sesame to your name um, and then it enables the developer console and with that you can find some developer upgrades. And one of the upgrades is you, it grows plants every second. So, so we've got the mutation tree here. And let's say we have um, some of the basic one. Let's say we have the farm corn and the metal weed and the crumb, the crumb spore. Um, and we want to get some of the other ones. So as you can see, for the guild millet is a farm corn and a crone rice. And it's very simple. Um, obviously it won't grow this fast, but you want to make sure it's on wood chip soil um, when they're mutating, because as I see, as you can see it says plants spread and mutate three times more. So we're here to unlock the guild minute and it is um, crone rice and from corn. And it says the percentage chance is 3%. I usually go for the, the ones with the highest percent chance first. And you also will be using these mutation setups depending on your garden level and since we are mutating two different plants um, you just do this you don't really have to worry about the red things those are just unwanted plants that might uh, also mutate but the setup looks like this so we're going to copy that setup I'm just going to freeze the garden just to make it a bit easier there we go so I've just mirrored it but it will do the same effect and then you want to keep it on fertilizer while it's growing to make it grow faster and then go on wood chips so obviously this is going to be a time lapse also another thing to point out, you don't want to plant, <laughs> this is actually doing it wrong, you want to make sure you know how long the crone rice grows for, and obviously the, the crone rice is taking a lot longer to grow before the farm corn, so it does say the average mutation um, in how many ticks, this is 70 ticks and then this is only 3 ticks, so you will plant them when these are 3 ticks away from being grown, so they mutate at the same time. So I think I'll plant them now. And they should mutate around the same time now. So that one's mutated. So now, there you go. It's going to grow some new plants. And there you go, the guild minute. And make sure you wait till it's uh, fully mature for harvesting. And then that's how you unlock the seed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unlock one of the other ones that I haven't unlocked yet. As you see, I've got 24 out of 34. Looks like we don't have the dose room. So we'll go for the dose room. So this says it's a 0.5% chance for two crumb spores. So we're going to do the same thing with the crumb spores. It is a bit different for mutating to the same plant, but it doesn't matter too much. Make sure you follow the guide correctly, but in not too long we managed to get a dose room. So now all we have to do is wait until it matures. And you want to do that for the whole garden. It usually only requires two or three of the same plant to mutate, um, but there's some exceptions. So I'll, I'll show you those ones just in case you uh, we're not completely aware. For the Duty Queen Bee, it's eight of them, and then for the Ever Daisy, it's f it's three and three, three tidy grass and three elder warts. So now we go, and that's how you unlock the dose room. So for the Duty Queen Bee, for eight of them to be uh, next to each other, the only possible setup is this, because in this tile you have eight of them surrounding. So that's what it means for that. And then for the tidy grass, you need three elder wart. Pretend these are elder wart. So you have three of those, and then you need three tidy grass, sorry, for the ever daisy. So that's how you do it. And then it can only mutate in this middle slot because there's three dose rooms and three bigger suites surrounding it. So that's how you do, that's how you unlock all the plants in the garden. Just wanted to make that clear because I don't think I was as clear in the other videos. What you can also do with the dev tool is you can spawn cookies. So for the later stages of the game, the most optimal strategy is actually to not use the click frenzies, but what you do, um, I'll just introduce it now, it will be explained more thoroughly in future videos, but you change the worship slots to the milk and then Jeremy second and then it doesn't really matter what you have in the third one. Um, and what you do is you grow a bunch of queen beets, they will give plus one hour of CPS at the cap of 4% of your bank. So. From the previous combos using the click frenzy and combos, you want to save your money because this strategy, the strategy is capped at the amount of 
cookies, cookies you have in your bank. So if you save up your money, you're going to get more cookies from the strategy. So now, uh, while they're growing, um, with the grimoire, uh, you want to have, you want to save when there's a building special spell in your grimoire spells instead of a click frenzy spell. So then, the combo we can get, as you sure you can guess, is frenzy plus elder frenzy plus the building special to get a massive boost of CPS and then turn on, turn on the golden switch, in this case it's already on, but we'll turn on the golden switch and you want to have the garden frozen and then you harvest all the all the queen beats for instant CPS. And the reason why you want to have it frozen is because the queen bee actually does have a negative of minus 2% CPS, but when you freeze it, the that penalty is negated. Um, and the reason we don't use uh, duke taters is because they give you more, um, more CPS, is because the duke tater actually, um, it takes so long to grow that you won't, it's actually impossible to have a full garden of them fully mature all at one time because they take so long to grow and the growth is a, is a bit random and you'll find that you only manage to get like maybe half or less than half duke taters all fully mature at the same time so this strategy is a lot more reliable. Obviously you want to use a different save file for the, for the dev tool because this is considered cheating you do get the um, cheating cookie says awful achievement so you want to copy the save file and do it on a different browser. So I use it to test to see how well it's going to do. Um, so let's say in the other save file we might manage to get Frenzy and Elder Frenzy and then we also summon the building special. Um, there you go and then all you have to do is harvest all and you'll get a lot of, you get a lot more two per second than that. However, I reached the, the max and also I have some, some debuffs because um, there's another strategy to do it with loans as well. But uh, that's another topic that I'll get into later. But that is the, that's the, the late game strat, so that's also why it's good to have the dev tool of this. But now I'll cut back to the regular progression. Because I'm coming towards the end of the Cookie series, I will be uploading other videos on this channel, um, mainly just the games that I enjoy. I'll probably do some Twitch streams as well. So it'll be a clip, probably edited videos from Twitch streams that I'll soon start. And also in September, Cookie Clicker will be available on Steam. So I might do a playthrough of that. I might do a full unedited playthrough or like not as edited as the, as the guide video on that. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys later.